vegan, cause even teenagers know livestock is bad for our world and try hard to stop it. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Mana nitro tuot atan hitler kartek, sashla hayek, suprememastertv.com tashutras schedule. One of my favorite books that I wrote is called The Crown of Gratitude and it is a vegan story about a whole farmyard of animals. They're all on a sanctuary. They've been rescued from terrible industries, but they are all learning about gratitude. And I like having themes that are simple to understand and very important to learn from a young age about how to be a kind person, how to have gratitude for all the beautiful things and especially love. Esther Bertram, vegan, CEO and creative entrepreneur, reconnecting with our innate nature and bridging communities through veganism, part one of two on Veggie Elite. Continue watching to find out more about conscious fiction. Guten Tag means good day in German the official language of Liechtenstein. I'm Andreas. The delightful people of Liechtenstein are forever grateful to you for protecting our co-inhabitant animal friends. Welcome, enlightened viewers, to part one of our show, Esther Bertram, vegan, CEO and creative entrepreneur, reconnecting with our innate nature and bridging communities through veganism. Esther, a vegan, dedicates her artistic talents as an author, musician, creative entrepreneur and CEO to spread vegan awareness to children and adults. As the founder of two companies, Conscious Fiction and In Vegans We Trust, her messages have been spreading across the globe. Vegans are uniting, helping one another and the world. Conscious Fiction was founded in 2010, when Esther wrote the young adult book November Fox about a vegan orphan rock star and her journey across space and time. Esther's books are infused with ancient wisdoms of holistic wellness combined with today's modern technology as a means to educate the youth for their mental and emotional development. The mission of conscious fiction is From Small Seeds Big Minds Grow, representing conscious fiction's hope to inspire young generations to be happy, healthy and live a more fulfilling life. From a very young age I became first a songwriter and when I transitioned to writing books, I felt like it was a natural progression from creatively expressing my thoughts and feelings in songs, then putting it in the children form. Um, I think the main reason why was because I'm very passionate about education and playing our part to help guide the little ones um, to grow their big minds. And I feel like I'm still a little child myself in the way I see the world and I still see with awe and wonder and playfulness. <laughs> I felt like with the way the world is heading and there's so much media saturation and everyone getting lost in their devices and their phones and I felt like there was a disconnect with potentially having the space to ask deeper life questions and challenge yourself to think outside of the box because when you're saturated with so much media, it's hard to have that space to go deeper within yourself. I just noticed that in the young people I was working with. So I thought that's where the first idea came from. Then I had a few personal theories that I'd created in my 20s about how to live a balanced life. I thought if I can meet the young people in their world and make a book that also involves technology, so I added augmented reality into the first print version, 
and I made it sci-fi fantasy and metaphysical philosophical fiction uh, to make it more like a game and really fun, but then sneak in the life messages and the theories and deeper questions in behind the message. November Fox allows us to embark on a metaphysical adventure through time and space by combining elements inspired by magic, mysticism, wisdom and wonder The book helps readers discover the power of dreaming, imagination and positive thinking to remake the world and stir the kid's imagination. A talking big tree with a clock on one of its branches was modeled after Eckhart Tolle, the well-known celebrated author for his world-famous book The Power of Now. It teaches readers to find their true inner peace and fulfillment by being in the present moment. Esther's collection of children's books enables young readers to embrace a consciously loving earth where they learn to thrive and fulfill their maximum human potential. The stories also instill wisdom, teaching youth about kindness, compassion and respect towards all creatures. For instance, in Little Blue Saves the World, the story opens to a magical world that tells us about the importance of being green and having trees in green spaces for our health and the health of our planet Earth. We'll now take a short interval for a stroll in the garden. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. The gods created certain kinds of beings to replenish our bodies. They are the trees and the plants and the seeds. Plato, vegetarian. Gentle viewers, welcome back to our show, Esther Bertram, vegan, CEO and creative entrepreneur, reconnecting with our innate nature and bridging communities through veganism, part one of two. Let's take a look at her book, The Crown of Gratitude, showing the difference between pride and gratitude. The illustrations in Esther's books are very eye-catching for the purpose of inspiring kids' visual thinking that helps them better understand the messages communicated. One of my favorite books that I wrote is called The Crown of Gratitude, and it is a vegan story about a whole farmyard of animals. They're all on a sanctuary. They've been rescued from terrible industries, but they are all learning about gratitude and I like having themes that are simple to understand and very important to learn from a young age about how to be a kind person, how to have gratitude for all the beautiful things and especially love. The Crown of Gratitude, a story of kindness. The Crown of Gratitude by E.E. E. Bertram A Story of Friendship When ego desires transform through the power Gratitude. Help your little one understand the importance of giving and being grateful. Sadie the Snail, I'm Happy Being Me, is a sweet and vibrant rhyming book that focuses on the message, I'm happy being me. No matter in what kind of circumstance, Sadie is humble and grateful for just being herself. Even when she has to confront others' judgmental opinions, the confidence and the joy inside remain unwavering. One of her most popular vegan books, The Vegan Alphabet Book, illustrates a clever way of introducing young children to the wonderful world of delicious vegan food and vegan ethics. 
Esther is planning a second edition that is releasing soon. The Vegan Alphabet Book A is for almond milk and avocado on toast. B is for beans and berries. C is for chickpeas and cashews. D is for dal and dried fruit. E is for energy bars and edamame. F is for fruit and falafels. G is for ginger and grains. H is for hummus and hemp seeds. I is for iceberg lettuce. J is for juice. Readers left reviews of her books online. The illustrations are very colorful and fun to read. Each of her books instills some moral to the story. Such as teaching kids the characteristics of being a kind and noble person, having a different outlook on life, as sometimes things aren't seen as they are, and seeing the whole picture, utilizing the magic of dreaming to our perspective in life and making them into a reality. Great kids book on foods that are vegan. My kids enjoy it and the illustrations are fun to look at. As a vegan family, seeing vegan books grow in popularity is a huge blessing. Good message and feelings of comfort that a young mind will carry with them for a long time. Absolutely adorable. Teaches children that friends and words of affirmation are the best gifts anyone could ever ask for. The details in the book are very much like real animals. At the end of the book is a little unique way for kids to see if they were paying attention to details. I absolutely love the book. My son was intrigued and wanted more. We hope you will also dive into Esther's books and enjoy them as these readers have. A big thank you, Miss Esther Bertram for making literacy development available and fun for children and young adults through your wisdom-infused books while spreading the message of unconditional love. In her 20s, she learned a life lesson and wanted to share it with the viewers. I find I get the best results in life when I set a clear intention, but then I let go and then I allow reality, the universe, energy, other forces that you can't control to play their part in the unfolding reality. And that fine balance between those worlds is when the magic happens. Thank you so much for sharing, Esther. We hope your words have inspired many today. Please return next Sunday, October 31st, for part two of Esther Bertram, Vegan, CEO and creative entrepreneur, reconnecting with our innate nature and bridging communities through veganism. For more information on Esther Bertram's books, please visit consciousfiction.com.au. You can also learn more about her vegan company at inveganswetrust.com. Vibrant viewers, we hope you've enjoyed Esther Bertram, Vegan, CEO and creative entrepreneur, reconnecting with our innate nature and bridging communities through veganism, part one of two today. May heaven shower all souls with blessings and love. Vegan side effect, you will feel waves of compassion surge within you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ve.